chicken egg, fried bread, two dollops of beans, a tossed and marmalade follow. What's going on? Is it Christmas? No, I don't think so. Not this one. What are we doing up in the middle of the night, then? Hey? I don't know. It's 2.18 GMT. Oh, good night. Couldn't you sleep? I kept hearing the funny noises again. What funny noises? It's a Park Street ghost touch, Ray. Ghost, eh? You sure? Oh, that wasn't any ghost, Johnny. No scuffles and rattles and that. Oh, that rattling chains, eh? I don't suppose it's really a ghost. And I've heard a voice howling in pain. Oh, I'm going for it. Frosty one. There's always a logical explanation, Johnny. It wasn't our Albert. I know it wasn't. It was a ghost. Go on, back to bed. I mean, the ghost doesn't get you, eh? Where's my handbag? Yeah, I don't know. I put it down somewhere. It's under the telly. Oh, where did you spring from? My room. Why? Creeping up on me like that. Hey, I look like I've seen a ghost and no wonder. You mean you have seen it? No, I've looked high and low. I've not clapped eyes on it. It's no good looking. You only have seen when you're not expecting to. What are you talking about? Ghost. Why? What are you talking about? Me handbag, you great softy. Oh, that. It's under the telly. Well, why didn't you tell me? I did tell you. Oh, well. You're up early. I'm sorry. It's all right. I am glad to see you, really. I'm always in a flap in the mornings getting off to work. It's as well I'm usually away before any of you see me. Is that finished? Damn it. You were talking to yourself when I came down. Yes, well, I'm the only sensible person in this house. I ask you, who else is there to talk to? Russell. <laughs> anyway, what are you doing up so early? I've been asleep all night. All night? No. Are you sure? I kept hearing these funny noises, like there was something in the room. There was. Our Albert and Humphrey. No, something really weird. Something ghostly. Oh, get on. Are you sure you've not seen it? What? The ghost. Of course not. There's no such thing. Yes, there is. There's one in Port Street anyway. Everybody saw that. It was even in the papers. <laughs> oh, where is it now? I told you, in our house. In our bedroom. Not the ghost. Me handbag. I've gone and lost it again. And this morning, when my shoes had moved. Yeah, I don't know. I suppose it could be one of them poltergeist things. Mrs Prince had one. Maybe that's what keeps moving me handbag. A what? A uh, poltergeist. It's a kind of ghost. They throw things. Hers threw a dinner back at her. Mind you, I think that was her husband. That's it then. That's what we've got. Oh no! Poltergeist indeed. Uh, kid. Uh, Morning. I've put some eggs out for everybody, I read to do them how you like. Eggs? Yeah. Why can't Dad do the breakfast for a change? Well, maybe he would if you got up two hours earlier. Eee, is that the time? Fancy starting work at half past six. Doesn't bear thinking about. And I start at 8.30. Hurry up, you lot. You'll be late for school. Have you washed yet, our Albert? No. We can't be in the bathroom for Humphrey. He's been in there for hours. Hours and hours. The cornflakes. I've forgotten something. I know I have. Just... Oh, I know. I promised I'd take it into work so as Audrey could have a look at it. He had to forget me, Ed, me. Go from I haven't got no edge. There's no cornflakes anywhere. It's all coming true. I had this terrible nightmare. There were no cornflakes left in the whole of England. If 
Sometimes the red's under their arms. The lane wants a new air dryer. Let's have a look at that. You want to be careful, you know, ma'am. These mail order things are usually nothing but rubbish. Oh, that's a nice hat. Hats? You? I got Yated hats. Fashions do change, ma'am. They've got some lovely things. It's funny, somehow you seem to miss out on them when you're trailing round the shops. I don't know how it is. Huh? Well, if there's no food left, I think I'll go back to bed. I can serve me any, Jeff. What's wrong with you all this morning? Somebody, I won't mention any names, but somebody started out to the goat in the middle of the night, setting off alarm clocks. Oh, fancy. That's how the fire engine came into it. What fire engine? The one in my dream. I think you've all gone mad. I'm going to work in case it's catching. Tara now. You won't be late for school. Mum, you're on bag. Oh. Ouch. Huh. I think I better contemplate my breakfast in the bathroom. You can't. Our eat is in there. Can't you wear it? Oh, somebody shouldn't invent a time switch to put on bathroom doors. Humphrey, how'd you make your eyebrows? Dance. As we all know, flowers can make almost anywhere look nice. Even a rubbish stuff, miss. As I said, Martin, almost anywhere. So you can see how important it is to have parks and gardens in a town like ours where there's a lot of industry. Like, uh, well, like the Iron Foundry, for instance. Now, some of your dads work there, don't they? Um, Johnny? Johnny Briggs, what time did you get to bed last night? I don't know, miss. He'll have been watching one of them late-night horror films, Miss Bruce. I never. I think he's a werewolf anyway. That's why he's sleeping during the day. <laughs> don't be silly, Joe. Please, Miss Broom, my mother, who's an earth, she says that horror films make people feel really jumpy, and some of them never ever get over it. It makes me scared just to think about it. Well, in that case, let's get back to the subject of gardening. Now, some of your mums and dads will have gardens, some of them won't. But that doesn't mean to say that you can't grow flowers to cheer things up a bit. There are such things as window boxes, hanging... Johnny Briggs, are you talking at the same time as me? Um, I'm sorry, Miss Broom. I was only telling Pam why I was so sleepy. You see, it was this ghost. It kept me awake all night. Yeah, it was a street ghost, Miss Broom. I bet it wasn't. How do you know? Anyway, lots of people have got ghosts. It's only Yes, yeah, All right, all right. As you're all so interested in ghosts, I think you'd better write down your ghost stories in your notebooks, hadn't you? Aww. Ah, yes, I thought that might surprise you. And, and I don't want any old ghost stories, oh no. These have got to be special ones. Ones in which it turns out in the end not to have been a ghost causing all the trouble after all, but something else. Oh, we doing that, Miss? Oh, that's that's going to be very difficult, isn't it? So you're going to have to start to exercise your brains instead of your voices. Now, can we please get back to the subject of gardens? Peter. Would you like to help me pin these up, please? It must be somewhere. You're doing that all wrong, ma'am. I expect I am. What? To do the yoga cat stretch properly, your arms have got to be stretched. Stands to reason. I'm looking for my catalogue, thank you very much, Rita. Oh. I came home early specially to find it. What's your excuse? Last period's free today, so... Your sky's off. No, ma'am. Actually, I came home early for a bit of peace to get on with my homework. Oh, yes. Here, help me with this, will you? Ah, there it is. How did it get down there, I wonder? Hey, what's this? Hey, it's that lovely hat I bought you. No, you were saying you fancied that this year. I don't think fashion's changed as much as that, ma'am. How did it get that funny colour? I don't know, though. It's more unusual with that sort of mildewed, mottled look. It'll certainly get you noticed, love. I want to see 
some really good ghost stories at least three pages long. And after all we've heard from you, Johnny Briggs, I'm expecting something really special. It's a part of you hear about a ghost that turns out to be something else, like, like Mrs. Prince's waltz. It's a ghost thingy. My mum says it's so confusing in the back of her, not the ghost at all. Can I start that then? If you like. You can write about your ghost. No, I can't. Mine's real. Well, maybe if you could prove it. Miss Broom would mind it being real, wouldn't she? No. It's not so bad if you pull it down to one side. You'll not be able to see where you're going, Rita. What's the matter with you? Can you not keep still for five minutes? I want to go to Loom. Well, what's stopping you? I run freeze in there. Again? Must be his age. Ma'am? Well, do you use that kitchen timer on the cooker much? Well, do you use that kitchen timer on the cooker much? Why? Street ghost. I mean, how can you prove that a ghost real or not? You know, horses and cats and that can see things us humans can't. Can you see things, Razzle? It's funny, you know, I've never really noticed that door before. What door? It's moving the chair that's done it. Oh, that door. What door? That one, I think. I wish there was somebody sensible I could talk to in this house. I know how you feel, Arita. I was saying the same to our Johnny just this morning. Dad, I appeal to you. Not in that hat, you don't. Oh, did you have to? She'll wear it now to spite you. What's that door for, Dad? What door? Give me strength. Oh, yeah. Do we ever use it? There a door in this house we don't use, son. Yes, there is. That one, behind you. What door? That, that door! Oh, that door. I thought you meant a proper door. It is a proper door. Is there a cupboard? No. Well, come on then, let's have a look. Get it open. If you must know, that door was boarded up years ago to stop you lot falling down the steps. And I'm beginning to wish you had. Now, can I please read me paper in peace? Dick. Dick. Both will lead down to secret passageway. Was it a ghost? See you really. I'm always in a flap in the mornings getting off to work. It's as well I'm usually away before any of you see me. Is that finished? Damn it. You were talking to yourself when I came down. Yes, well, I'm the only sensible person in this house. I ask you, who else is there to talk to? Russell. <laughs> anyway, what are you doing up so early? I've been asleep all night. All night? No. Are you sure? I kept hearing these funny noises, like there was something in the room. There was. R. Albert and Humphrey. No, something really weird. Something ghostly. Oh, get on. Are you sure you've not seen it? What? The ghost. Of course not. There's no such thing. Yes, there is. Those one in Port Street anyway. Everybody saw that. It was even in the papers. <laughs> oh, 
Where is it now? I told you, in our room, in our bedroom. Not the ghost, me handbag. I've gone and lost it again. And this morning, why my shoes had moved? Yeah, I don't know. I suppose it could be one of them poltergeist things. Mrs Prince had one. Maybe that's what keeps moving me handbag. A what? A uh, poltergeist. It's a kind of ghost. They throw things. Hers threw a dinner back at her. Mind you, I think that was her husband. That's it then. That's what we've got. Oh no! Poltergeist indeed. Uh, Kid. Mother. Morning. I've put some eggs out for everybody, I read, to do them how you like. Eggs? Yeah. Why can't Dad do the breakfast for a change? Well, maybe he would if you got up two hours earlier. Eee, is that the time? Fancy starting work at half past six. Doesn't bear thinking about. And I start at 8.30. Hurry up, you lot, you'll be late for school. Have you washed yet, our Albert? No, we've got to be in the bathroom for Humphrey. He's been in there for hours. Hours and hours. The cornflakes. I've forgotten something. I know I have. Precious. Oh, I know. I promised I'd take it into work so as Audrey could have a look at it. He had to forget me, Ed, me. Go on, I haven't got no edge. There's no cornflakes anywhere. It's all coming true. I had this terrible nightmare. There were no cornflakes left in the whole of England. Sometimes I read under their arms. The lane wants a new air dryer. Let's have a look at that. You want to be careful, you know, ma'am. These mail order things are usually nothing but rubbish. Oh, that's a nice hat. Hats, you? I thought you hated hats. Fashions do change, ma'am. They've got some lovely things. It's funny, somehow you seem to miss out on them when you're trailing round the shops. I don't know how it is. Huh. Well, if there's no food left, I think I'll go back to bed and conserve me energy. What's wrong with you all this morning? Somebody, I won't mention any names, but somebody started out to the goat in the middle of the night, setting off alarm clocks. Ooh, fancy. That's how the fire engine came into it. What fire engine? The one in my dream. I think you've all gone mad. I'm going to work in case it's catching. Ta-ra now. Don't be late for school. Mum, you're on bag. Oh. Ouch. Huh. I think I better contemplate my breakfast in the bathroom. You can't. Our eaters in there. Can't you wear it? Oh, somebody shouldn't invent a time switch to put on bathroom doors. Humphrey, how do you make your eyebrows? Dance. As we all know, flowers can make almost anywhere look nice. Even a rubbish stuff, Miss. As I said, Martin, almost anywhere. So you can see how important it is to have parks and gardens in a town like ours where there's a lot of industry. Like, uh, well, like the iron foundry, for instance. Now, some of your dads work there, don't they? Um, Johnny? Johnny Briggs, what time did you get to bed last night? I don't know, miss. He'll have been watching one of them late-night horror films, Miss Bruce. I never. I think he's a werewolf anyway. That's why he's sleeping during the day. <laughs> don't be 